Hey there, I'm just going to see about putting a spring into this. This is my model diesel engine starter for starting model diesel engines. Basically, well, I won't put it totally together, so to speak. But you wind this up as a clockwork, well, we'll have a clockwork spring in. You release the lever because this is on a sort of ratchet thing. And then it'll unwind quickly and should kick start a model diesel engine. This is to go into here, so like an extra ratchet thing. Oh yeah, this has to go in a certain way around. There is a like a peg on here. That's to go in the, the uh, clockwork spring. There's another peg inside there. But has this extra ratchet on there, which goes in here. So if, the, if this is still pressed on the model diesel engine, the hope there is that this well, I know it can, just my frictions and such like. This can keep on turning if necessary. Not really advisable. Using plastic, I don't think. It's, this is all printed in PLA. ABS would be better, but don't really have any uh, ABS. Now, I've just sort of put together like a test fit. What I found in the model, I'm going to leave the model pretty much as it is, I think. But I, these are three millimeter, and I drilled these out to 3.2. But I found that this here wasn't totally in line. This part here, that this is in two halves in a way for this, like a pole that goes on the main ratchet here. Goes on the main teeth there. It's like the release mechanism. This will be on a small spring. That this was wasn't wasn't like slipping. Here it is. I mean, you can sometimes see that but that is pretty loose there. So that's okay. But this was seemed to be printed out of line a bit. So what I did is I've actually drilled these out to four millimeter. I leave the model about well, actually they will want drilling out anyway. But I would suggest that if you're doing this, you do drill it out to the smaller size, say 3.2 or even 3 for 3 millimeter bolts, I suppose. In the, in the face here, these bolts just go down into this face plate here. These are drilled to 2.5 and I just force the bolts into the plastic. Not ideal. Possibly, I don't know. That seems strong enough to me, well, initial impression without any actual testing, so to speak, on the spring pressures and such like, so this, it might need some proper plastic inserts, so those are drilled to 2.5, the holes in this face plate, usually I use a shorter bolt than that, that. and then that is forced, the, the bolt is, the 3mm bolt is forced, into there, using a bit like a tap where I go forward and back, forward and back, blowing out any sort of dust. And basically the threads sort of self-cut themselves, just a normal bolt, nothing, normal 3mm bolt in this case, nothing major special, I use button heads, what are known as button head bolts, sorry that's going out. Okay, that's printed in two parts this sort of one because if it was printed in one part I suppose it could be printed in just about in one part that but then it would have these that would need like a lot of overhangs so it's printed in two parts that square there is for as I say for this like peg thing so the main spring will go on here go into this part where there's another peg thing so that's the outside go on that peg and then thingy. I've got some of this grease PTFE I think it is uh, if I need it sort of stuff I might pour my threaded rods I've got some oil just some sort of machine oil I generally keep it in the well, let's take it out of this plastic bag. 
sewing machine type oil, lightweight oil, which I tend to put on certain parts as I'm putting it together. I'm not sure whether it's a little grease or oil, to be honest with you. I think grease will tend to stop in the place it's put. So let me get the spring for this and then I'll come back. I'll just say these are the these are the screwdrivers I normally use. These are pretty good. But what I found actually is that the when doing this size bolt with this sort of I think this is the number two is it? Well it says two is that uh, it can chew up the head because it just slightly doesn't fit. Yet I have some another Allen key here. I do have another Allen key which does fit. That fits in there very, very tight. But this one, the one that came with this screwdriver kit, seems as if it's slightly, very slightly out of measurement so sometimes if it's a very tight bolt it will chew up the heads so I would say be careful with these I do have it even another so there's that one as well that sometimes I can use this is off a bigger screwdriver thing that, that fits very well so suggesting that it's this bit on here that is not exactly the right size I'm suggesting I don't know I'm not a mechanical expert I haven't measured that that says two I think so let's see and that says two that's got number two stamped on there to suggest that's a number two size so so far as I know it's the same well claimed same size but anyway that's a lot of waffle about that I'll just get the spring and then I'll come back so here is the spring I put some tip exit on here to remind me which way around it's supposed to go now I did this earlier and I got it wrong the wrong way around and I've had to reprint some of the parts to get the like there's a catch on here well a hole in here and that that is to a certain extent wedge shaped you might I don't know if you can see that that's wider like this side and it goes narrower that side so it does have to well it has to go in a certain way to so that it turns a certain way and the catch peg thing that I will be that I have on here and on here on the sort of shaft part has to be facing a certain way now in the one designer had it wrong even after careful double checking so to speak so I do have this bit here this is like a aid because when I originally put the spring on this was very tight it was too tight to go on the shaft and this is like a wedge shaped here that screws on this gets took off when it's finished but basically that wedge shape helps get that onto the shaft and then you have to almost force it well with a screwdriver bit I'll talk in another video about this for almost get it onto this like peg thing okay but after I've used after I've done that which is a bit worrying actually is that it has bent this out so now that's quite loose on there I can actually I'm going to take this off actually I don't need it on here anymore but we'll, the part is on there it's like a spring aid or it for spring I think I call it for part and that's a four millimeter well in this case a hex bolt here see that comes off oops and that that's just to help get the spring on that's all that's really used for so I'm unsure how to do this whether to put it 
like on this side first. Now you have to be very very careful with springs because these can open out quite far and they do have sharp edges. Okay before I say anything else. I'm not sure whether I want to put it, try and put it into here first and then put this in. Or get this part on first and then put it into here. I'm just trying, I'll have a think about this because one hook might be easier than the other to hook this sort of part on, this hole in. There's a, there's a hole in the inside, I don't know if you can see that. Same sort of shape and that. So I'll just pause a bit and I'll come back and have a think which way I want to do this. Okay, oh, before I forget, I've, I've already bolted this, this is like a sliding thing, bolted that on there with a 4mm, again a button headed hex bolt thing on there for the sliding pole. There is a spring to go in here. Uh -oh. So I'm gripping this indent here, there is an indent in the back of the pole as well to try and keep that in line. So I think if I try to put the spring on like this, put it on here first, this place has this plate will have to be on sort of first. And then put the spring on. Then it's going to be virtually impossible to unhook this ring on here. Don't take this ring off, do not remove this sort of Yours might be C shaped, it's different types. But don't take this off until you're absolutely ready because it will spring out. That will be almost impossible to do that. So it's going to have, probably have to go in this big base first before I even try to put it into here. And that will also possibly help me see if this is well, near enough the right size, this peg thing for this sort of guide hole on the outside. I'll just double check again that I'm going to be putting this in the right way around because it has to go in the correct way. Well, to be honest with you, I am doing a bit of what I think is called procrastination. I'm trying to put off doing it. Um, so I'm going to put just a little bit of grease in here first. This is this, uh, supposed to be, I think it's lithium grease. High temperature, etc, etc. Now, basically, it doesn't really probably need this, I don't think. So a little bit on the both sides. want gloves on when you're doing things like this. I'm also going to spread some like around this hole a bit inside in a way of the edges of this hole because that's where this shaft will go into. some off my finger there really I think that'll be enough spread a bit on the edge of this spring be careful just wipe my hands a bit okay now one of plan was to almost just slide this out gradually move this like wire it's just like a wire thickish wire wrapped on there. As I say, some springs might just have a C shape on and then actually lower it into here. Actually what I want to do, I'm going to, this is some white tipex I put on to try and remind me which way around this wants to come, like facing out in this case. 
which way around I want to put in. I'm going to scrape that off using a edge of screw drips. It comes off quite easily. So I'm going in the camera sight. Being careful not to knock this and the bits don't go into my grease. So all that, that's just some Tipex type stuff, like white uh, correction fluid from a little pen shape thing. All that was for is to just re try and remind me which way around this spring wants to go. So, okay, I've scraped it off just using the edge of a screwdriver, wiped it a bit of towel. Now, it is possible to move this wire over, be careful here, because uh, we don't want it coming off, but it is possible to slide it gradually. Carefully, still a bit of that tipix on there. Okay. Right, the thing is, I always think they're cutting this off, but I think what I'll do is actually lay it in here. Now, I'm sorry about this, but I'm probably going to have to cover this over with something, because if it springs out, it could be dangerous. So I've got a towel here, and basically I'm going to press down on the spring and allow this to catch on the edge of this plastic here. Have a look at this. So it's quite near the edge. Remove, try and, if I can, try and push the spring a bit closer to this edge. Pretty much all the way around. Oh, I am getting extremely worried here. Line up the hole. And I'm going to try again with this piece of twisted wire over this edge, which I, you know, can't sort of slip off so easy. Well, off the plastic. That's a, the problem. Is it's slipping off inside to a certain extent all the time. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. I mean that is so, it's one of these things where it's so close, so now I'm going to try and wedge this edge of the screwdriver under this and gradually go around lifting it off. Ah, now you see that's gone under that edge. So now I can hopefully twist this, let's get this other screwdriver in, and there it goes, see what I mean about it springing out, so that's where you have to be very, very, very careful indeed, one problem now, I can't even see, oh there's where the peg thing is there, but if I need to I can twist this round and that will sort of to a certain extent loosen it off the edges but that's gone in reasonably well just got to use the edge of this screwdriver blade to it's a little bit high up at the edge here this because it will it spring out even more than this I can't move that that's on there very tight at the moment I'll have to see to that right I'm going to have a think about this so pause a bit here so what I was thinking of doing is almost making it like a a screwdriver a bit like this, what I'm going to call a screwdriver, just a shaft like that with a peg on I can put into there and then turn this and that will sort of like take some of the tension off the spring because it's tightening up the spring but keep on turning it until this this edge as I say is a little bit high there 
but also that hole which is on the end here needs turning round until it gets in line with that peg and then it needs like latching onto that peg so I think then I was thinking of trying to maybe well because this has to go in like this on that side but then it would be hard to see what's going on so to speak at all so I think that's what I might do is actually almost make a screwdriver part for that to wind help wind that uh, spring on and get lined up with that that peg so I might just make out the peg here I'm not sure if you can see it and the hole is near the end of the spring which is sort of round here so it certainly needs turning but at the moment I mean that's it grips very strong like that I don't want to be uh, putting it under too much pressure so yep yeah, I'm going to print out a new bit like that probably a bit of a handle on it so I can put it in there turn it round when that's get that in line get tidied up a bit uh, yeah it'll have to come in from that way and then unloosen that and then sort of be able to put this one in there hopefully I'll just have a, another think pause a bit I mean that will spring over a bit more in line adds a lot of weight to it that spring well you know I really feel it okay Let's pause there. What I've been doing is actually putting some of this lithium sort of grease where this pawl is going to go. Put, certainly put some on that side. Don't need a lot, just enough to. Give it something to slide on while I'm before I put because I intend to put this onto here just to make sure that when I'm, I'm going to put this away somewhere so I don't want the spring springing out when I take it back out or anybody touches it so to speak but that spring needs lining up I'll do that in a separate part actually because I intend to print out another well I'm going to call it well, I don't know what the jig, I suppose. Like something like this, but without the leave arms on, possibly a handle on. So I'll do this as a part one. Part one will fit that spring. And I'll do part two when I try and line this up and put the other parts together, okay? Oops, try and get that in. Let's try and get this in. They're the main parts. Uh, some like balls, so yeah. Are these like are these washers that go on each end to hold it together as well? 